Right there. How's the angle? You want me to straighten it out at all? That looks pretty good for cool. me right there. Awesome. Al is really particular about piano you sounds. Get that one right around in here. Okay. He's particular about all sounds, but piano especially. Piano and, and uh, upright bass. He's he's been more analytical about those two things than any other instrument I know that he's worked on, besides whole orchestras. And those are C twelve A's that he's using on the piano. So again, here Al's adjusting the mic pre's for level. He's leaving his faders at zero. Can I get a little more? Mm -hmm. And he's using the mic pre's for gain Good. to keep his gain staging correct. He's not just recording. He's mixing the finished record as he listens. So what we just got to walk through was one of the last records that I got to make with Al Schmidt. We had the, the luxury of having him here for uh, the start of the En Espanol project for the Mavericks. And I think what's important is to pay attention to the simplicity that he approaches the making of records with and the intuitive feel that he brings to it and the attention to detail, the little details, angle of the microphones, choice of microphones, distance of microphones and before the microphones the immediate rapport with the artist and the artists uh, the band uh, because that's really the most important element i've ever learned from al was he would walk into a room and everybody was happier everybody was calmer you knew it was going to sound good because al was there he's on the date and he loves the sound of things as much as anybody, if not more so. So you could count on that. And that's a great motivating factor for a performance. And it's a great calming effect for an artist who maybe is nervous. And it's a wonderful, stable sounding board for making decisions. Because you're not just asking someone for their opinion. You're asking 60 years of history for an opinion. And that's irreplaceable. And so's Al.